Hello everybody, my name is GoldenTars18 and welcome back to another manga video. This time I'm going to show you my monthly manga haul for the month of October 2020. Now, I'm, I apologise that I didn't put one up last month, it's because Amazon screwed me over and I will get into more info about that as the manga goes on. I did get one volume last month but I thought that wasn't good enough to make a video so I thought I'll just leave until next month when I hopefully get uh, what I need. And as for the, <laughs> the coronavirus pandemic here in Scotland, it is getting worse, and in the UK as, in general as well. This pa the past couple of months have been see we've been seeing like the daily increase of COVID cases being surpassed so many times, and yeah, it's just absolute madness. We've had more cases in the month of October than we've ever had like all together since the coronavirus hit. Uh, Scotland and we uh, from November 2nd we are introducing a five tier lockdown system where and where I live uh, we will be put into level two which is the m middle level and it will also be in where my fiance lives there's like 32 different districts basically or council areas as we call them here in the UK and most of them are going to level 3, even though some of them are going to level 4, which is a bit stupid, but that's what our First Minister has decided. And we've also introduced restrictions where pubs are not allowed to sell alcohol at certain times, depending on what level now. It used to be like um, up until 6 um, outdoors, but yeah, it's crazy. But I'm staying safe as well, best as I can, I don't go out when I don't need to, and when, uh, and I only go out to see my fiance, travel, and obviously I wear a face mask and everything. I listen to the rules. I don't breach them in any way, unless, except stupid people just like, walk past me. But that's enough of that. And I do apologize if you see that my shelf's a bit of a mess because I had to get out the manga because I tend to take out, uh, like, um, store my manga when I get them in the hall and keep a note of them so I can get these videos ready for you. So I have 17 volumes for you today to have a look at and these will be my haul. This, those will be my haul for this month and I hope you enjoy it. So let's get into it shall we. The first manga I have is something that I saw in Waterstones and I thought oh that looks interesting. I, I, I always like that with new series. I see, but it's a fairly old series. I don't know when it was first. I can't remember when it was first serialized in Japan, but it looked interesting. And but yeah, mm -hmm. I could look into getting more volumes of this. This is Shoulder a Coffin Kuro Volume One by Satoko Kiyoduki. It's about this girl here. She's a traveler, but she's often mistaken for a boy or a vampire. I've not read this personally. This is published by Yen Press. Um, it's a four comma, so a four comma, which basically means that uh, each like little bit, each page has like two sets of four panels, so it'll probably be a quick read when I get into it. And one thing I like about it, it's got color pages. It's not very colorful, but it, there is color there. I'm you like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And they feature quite often. I'm not going to show you the rest of them. But it looks pretty cool. Like I say, I picked some more stones, and yeah, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. oh, oh yeah, she also gets a mistake for a vampire as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks pretty interesting, and I can't wait to get into it. So that is Shoulder a Coffin Kuro, Volume One by Satoko Kiyuduki. Next up is one of the pre-orders that I was expecting last month that would have made my last um, video possible but sadly even though I was anticipating this for nearly a year it didn't arrive on time but I will tell you more when I show you this. This is next up Junji Ito's Venus in the Blind Spot. <laughs> now this is another story compilation by the horror manga master himself Junji Ito of course and basically what happened was I was supposed to get this in the beginning of September but then Amazon said it was out of stock and then there's like people reviewing it non-stop and I thought well, well where's my copy why are people reviewing it if it's out of stock and then th weird things happen it said it'll be in stock on this day in the end of September oh no it won't be it'll be this and then I found out it might be in the middle of November I get this which was absolutely annoying but I finally got it and yeah super happy 
because Amazon said there's only three left in stock, so I said cancel my pre-order, reorder it, and then I got it within the next couple of days or something like that. And I'm so happy I did because it went back in stock, and I'm so happy that I finally have this. It's the latest story compilation by Junji Ito that contains some of his best works. And there's some nice color pages in here, and it contains ten stories, two of which are not new to me. If you have read a certain story from Junji Ito, you would know which ones I'm on about. Actually, I think this is like the second time it's actually been re-featured in a story compilation, but I could be wrong. But yeah, I really did enjoy this, and I have now got three more story compilations pre-ordered for next year. Hopefully I get my first one at the beginning of next year. But yeah, it's really good. I'm not going to show you anything inside, but they also frequently show you colour pages in certain points and like at the very start it's, it's beautiful to look at because i love seeing color pages so yeah that I, the only thing i don't like about this it's in a, like a dust jacket so yeah i don't really like that so, pokemon's have this, like this gets torn uh, yeah because it's such a beautiful cover and that's all i'm going to say about this oh yeah this is from this media and um, but yeah this is um a venus in the blind spot by jinji ito now you may remember last year, at the end of last year, I got some manga from a place called Plan 9, which is a comic book shop. Well, uh, a few weeks, well, like at the beginning of this month, I decided to have a look around with my friend and basically show off the, well not show off, um, see if they had any manga or if there was, if there was manga, if there was any that I was interested in taking and I thought, okay, yeah, I'll just take some volumes that I knew I would get, be able to get, but I will show you the first one now of the ones I got. I have You're Under Arrest, The Wild Ones by Kosuke Fujishima, who is the same mangaka who did some stuff like Oh My Goddess. And uh, yeah, the reason I got this is because when I looked up, when I researched online, I found out that this was like the first volume that was published in English. And uh, I don't think the other volumes are, and this is technically like volume six. And this is a very old Dark Horse Comics um, publication. So if any of you know that if the like first five are in English, let me know. And I, because I think I may have made a, made a mistake in buying this, but I couldn't complain of like a couple of pounds. So yeah, uh, I don't know much about this. It's about these two girls, uh, Miyuki and Natsumi, who are just female cops, and they just want to have fun, basically. Uh, yeah, and they're obviously in their standards beautiful uh, yeah it looks pretty interesting but like I say if you knew anything about this uh, and if it's a, if it is in English let me know and I will probably look into trying getting the other volumes but they'll probably be very hard to find because I've not seen this featured anywhere else so yeah that's all I can say about this this is You're Under Arrest volume well, The Wild Ones as it's subtitled technically volume 6 by Kosuke Fujishima. The next up is mostly something that I got from uh, yeah, Plan 9, the same comic book shop I got you under arrest, and I just thought, you know what, I'll take the plunge. I was gonna do it when I, I was gonna buy it when I first saw it, but I wasn't sure of like good prices, so I wasn't sure if like I would invest in it to get the final volume, but I did, and here I have. Alice Nineteenth, the complete series. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alice Nineteenth, complete series, volumes one to seven, by Yu Watase, who also did the Fushigi Yugi series and also series Celestial Legend. So this is volume one. I actually have two copies of volume one because what happened was I ordered this volume, and um, because I got volumes two to seven in Plan Nine. I ordered this one on Amazon for the third party seller because I thought, okay, why not? It was cheap, three pounds, sure, why not? And basically, um, I went, uh, well, they said, Amazon said it was a protected expectant date by the 10th to the 15th of October, and I thought, oh, okay. And then 16th arrived, I didn't get it, I emailed them, and then a couple of days later, they said they'll have issued me a refund. But oh, okay, sure. And basically, what happened after that is like 
the day after I got like the refund, uh, it arrived at my doorstep, and I felt so bad. I actually, I actually ordered a co another copy after I got the refund, and then that came like within days. So, I have a spare copy of Alice Nineteenth. I might do a giveaway or something like that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe sell it off. Uh, but yeah, I don't know much about the series. I think it starts with like a. Um, it sort of, it starts off with like an Alice in Wonderland. Uh, type story like Alice meets a, girl, a rabbit and then goes into like a rabbit hole and then stuff goes to goes down but then yeah she, and according to this like blurb uh, she, certain words have different powers and yeah she's gonna have to learn how to control them and use them and stuff like that I don't know but I'm really intrigued to see it because it looks pretty cool even though it's a shoujo so uh, yeah I'll show you these covers I, I have like I say I have the complete series it's only seven volumes so we've got volume one, which has the old Viz logo, like old, old Viz logo. So yeah, that's quite a throwback for collectors, I suppose. So yeah, there you go, volume one. Uh, sorry, volume two. Volume three. Volume four. Volume five. Volume six. And volume seven. So yeah, that's the complete series. I got volumes two to seven for like three pounds each. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I have another complete series in my collection. So yeah, that's all I'll say about this. This is Alice Nineteenth, uh, volumes one to seven by Yu Watase. Next up is a series that I was been contemplating for quite some time if I wanted to get it or not, but I finally got it. I finally succumbed. They had three copies of this in Waterstones. I thought, you know, why not? I probably never ever get it regardless uh, well not regardless if I did, did, did buy it at all but I have it now and it is Black Butler volume 1 by Yana Toboso or Kuru Shitsuji uh, I don't really know much about this I know about the characters so yeah uh, apparently okay yeah, so it's basically about this guy. He's a, I think. No, I don't know, but it's about the, a black butler, obviously. And there's a character. I would assume it's him, or something like that. That is a little bit different to what people perceive him to be. <laughs> yeah, because he's always by the side of the, per the people, uh -huh. and. Uh, that he serves and but there may be more than meets the eye uh yeah i'm i i don't know i'm going into this blind really <laughs> but I, I know there's like 30 odd volumes of the series out right now and it's crazy uh i obviously want to try and get more volumes if i could um but at the end of the day it's a new series and i'm so happy that i finally succumbed to getting it I, i've i've not read them obviously so uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about this. Oh, it's also by Yen Press. Uh, and yeah, this is Black Butler or Kurushitsuji, by, Volume 1 by Yana Tobosa. Next up is a series I've seen for the past year or two, and again, it's something that I was contemplating getting it because it looks pretty cool, but I finally. Yeah, excuse me, finally managed to catch, uh, get it because I thought, you know, why not? <laughs> because YOLO <laughs> and stuff like that. So I have here, I'm standing on a million lives, volume one by Akinari Nao and Naoki Yamakawa. And yeah, I'm super excited to have this because it looks interesting. I was interested from it uh, for on it for, I've been interested for, in it since I saw it basically because it looked pretty cool uh, yeah and basically what it's about it's about this boy here uh, his name is Yusuke and apparently he doesn't really care about going to high school and he gets he gets uh, sucked into like a a fantasy world because he likes video games he gets sucked into a fantasy world with two girls and it turns out that he's a he's a farmer he's been assigned that and these two girls and him have been assigned to help save millions of a million lives, basically. So hence, I'm standing on a million lives. So, so. and I think he has to try and get out, or, 
of it somehow but yeah i'm super intrigued to see what this is like uh yeah it's, and this is by condensia and i would assume because this is an original story this used to be like a light novel i don't know but i'm intrigued so i'll see how it goes uh this is uh i'm standing on a million lives by akinari now and naoki yamakawa and this is volume one the, the next series are continuing ones that obviously I know and yeah I'll just show you them. Th this first one I also I got it was part of a pre-order that I got two days early which was crazy but I got it. I'm happy regardless it, whenever I get them. This is My Hero Academia Volume 25 by Kohei Horikoshi. If you don't know what My Hero Academia is I don't know what you're doing with your life. Get on it. It is brilliant is one of my favorite manga basically it follows this boy called Izuku Midoriya he's one of 20% of people in like this the world of the of the story who don't have something called quirk which is like a superpower but yet he looks up to like this man called All Might and, and yeah he gets and listens to the school he meets new friends who have all these quirks and stuff like that and yeah it's absolutely really fun it it does get a bit dark at times but it is pretty cool and I do like this cover as well it's pretty nice it's not my favorite cover in the series but I do like what they've done with it I'm not gonna say who that is because obviously spoilers <laughs> but <laughs> yeah it's crazy but I love it <laughs> uh, this is my hero academia volume 25 by Kohi Horikushi next up is the other pre-order that I got two days early again not complaining when I get a manga early it makes me happy but two days early is crazy especially if it was a pre-order on Amazon but yes I've got it this it's One Punch Man volume 21 by One and Yusuke Murata again what are you doing with your life if you've not heard of One Punch Man it is brilliant it follows this guy here his name is Saitama he basically can beat any opponent with one punch hence his name One Punch Man and it's just brilliant it's funny it's getting more and more serious as the volumes go on but at times it still maintains the humor and the artwork in this is fantastic so if you haven't had a chance to check it out i do highly recommend you get this uh yeah it's just brilliant and what i've noticed is as well as well i don't know if it's happened to the front but like on the spines of 19 20 and 21 it's actually got a continuous image and I think maybe the back has a, a continuous image like a like one giant image being formed I can't look just yet but I'll look off camera but yeah it's pretty cool uh yeah I can't wait to get back into this uh I think volume 22 will be a little while because it came out in like September in Japan and obviously with the pandemic going on at the moment it will probably be further delayed until probably like m maybe nearly the uh, uh, like the middle give or take a couple of months well no maybe yeah give or take a couple of months in, in next year but we'll see I'm excited to carry on this series it's one of my favorite series again the artwork and this is fantastic but yeah this is One Punch Man volume 21 by one and Yusuke Murata next up was my first pre-order of this month that actually came it actually came the day later a day later but it doesn't matter it came regardless and i'm so happy that i did it came a day before my oldest nephew's birthday and he loves the series as well so i'm glad he does and i have here splatoon volume 10 by sankichi hinodeya this is based on the video games by splatoon as you should know because i've mentioned it many times and it follows these like uh, squid like creatures called inklings and they take part in turf wars and yeah it's a lot of fun <laughs> even though this is my only kid friendly manga in this haul it's still pretty amazing to look at uh yeah i do love it and obviously this is by viz media as well uh yeah it's super fun and they've entered like a new arc i think they're on like the third arc now i'm not entirely sure but i'm super happy that i have this because i was able to read it to my oldest nephew and he loves the series well, and actually he's not read this one but he will eventually and he does love the series and i love it too even though i've never played the splatoon games 
although I've played Splatoon 2 a little bit, Pokes my Golden Snappy has it, but yeah, I'm super happy he likes the series. Uh, yeah, I can't really say much else about that. Uh, this is Wong Tan of Splatoon by Sankichi Hinodeya. Next up was one of the pre-orders that really annoyed me because th this was like Venus in the Blind Spot. I was supposed to get it in the beginning of September, but it finally came in the beginning of this month. So I have here The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Volume 7, based but by Akira Himikawa by Viz Media again. And this is based on the game of the same name, obviously, because Akira Himikawa have been creating manga for over 20 years now. And yes, apparently we're reaching the climax now, and I'm super happy because... I find it ridiculous that this got like several volumes. I maybe finish it, maybe finish a volume nine or ten. I don't know, but and the other ones were like one or two volumes. Maybe they just wanted to focus on this. Maybe this was their favorite Zelda game. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's based on the video games. Nothing much to say. We that's that. Uh, yeah, and the artwork in this is fantastic. Um, uh, this is volume seven of Akira Himikama's The Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. And the last volume I have to show you here is uh, the only manga that I got last month, but obviously I didn't want to show you that book, so I don't think it would have made much of a good video, but I'll show you regardless. It's The Promised Neverland, Volume 16, by Kayo Shirai and Poshka Demizu. I am getting close to the end of this. There's 20 volumes now being confirmed that Volume 20 will be the final volume, and I'm so sad to see this go. It basically follows these three kids. Or in this case, two, I'm not going to say why there's only two there, who live in an orphanage, but everything is not what it seems, because it looks happy and dandy, but then this girl here, she finds like a dark secret. I'm not going to say what the dark secret is, you have to read it for yourself, or even watch the anime. Because obviously there's an anime, but yeah, it's brilliant. I, still, I haven't read this yet, but I am super excited to get back into it, and hopefully when volume 17 comes... I'll be getting ready for the climax of this series. It's been a fantastic series. So thank you, Kaya Shirai and Pat Pushka Dimizu for making this. And that's all I'll say about that. And that's The Promised Neverland, Volume 16, by Kaya Shirai and Pushka Dimizu. And those are by Viz, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> if I haven't said that already. But anyway, I shall finish the video now. I have got a minute left of recording time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And please like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, sorry again that I didn't do a video last month. I'm just mad at Amazon for doing what they did. But I am super happy with this haul. And yeah, I'm still looking to get another shelf beside me. And I do have plans for what I can put on it. So yeah, uh, I shall see you guys in the next video. Stay safe. Take care, and I'll see you later. Bye.